Hi everyone, welcome back to the holding on a bright but very cold day. Uh, today I'm planting raspberry canes. Um, I bought 30 raspberry canes that I put in this time last year. Um, and I, had, I think they were a bit of a bad batch out of the three different types. All of the 10 all gold, which are a yellow raspberry, none of them come at all. And I only had about five or six of each of the other two types. So out of 30 canes, I ended up with about about 10 or 12 live canes. I think the roots just dried out a little bit. So I've had to buy some more all gold. They came a couple of days ago and it's important really to get them out of the packaging and just pot them up. So I potted these up, gave them a water just to keep the roots damp. Obviously they come bare root. So today I'm gonna to get them in. It has been cold, but the ground isn't frozen. If the ground's frozen, you, you want to really wait until it's not frozen because otherwise the, the soil won't pack around the roots nicely and you can end up with air gaps and they just won't do them any good at all. So they're going to go in here. They're going to go in here next to these Autumn Bliss. Uh, I've got a row of Autumn Bliss that were just for my own raspberries, little runners that I took off and planted in there. Um, autumn, uh, all gold raspberries are basically an autumn bliss but a yellow version they're basically the same sort of thing uh, so they're an autumn raspberry so i'm going to put these in next next to them here so what i'm going to do first is just rake back the wood chip then i'm going to get them planted and then i'm going to push the chip back over the top and i'm going to put some fresh chip on top um, the important thing with raspberries and i think a mistake that perhaps some people make is to not plant them too deep i think if you plant them too deep it can really stress them and, and stop the, the new shoots from, from being able to get out and up. So really from the sort of, from where you can see they've been planted, when they come, you will see that there's sort of roots here. You'll sort of see the ball, which is um, soil level. You don't really want the roots to be any more than a couple of inches. If anything, it's, especially if you're gonna mulch them like I am, I'll probably put where the first roots are about an inch below the surface and then mulch up the stem an inch. Um, you know, they are fairly shallow rooted plants, so just make sure that you don't plant them too deeply. So I'm gonna crack on and do this now, um, get them in, get them mulched, and then even though it's cold and the soil is, is moist, I will give them a water just to settle that soil in around the roots. So dig your holes and basically this is what I was saying. See, this again is just a cut off. You can see where they cut this off of, it, of a shoot of another plant. Um, and you can see that there's some new growth coming on the side roots. So basically you can see the depth of the soil it was in before is about here. You can see this on all sort of bare root things. You can see roughly where the sort of depth of soil was. So what you want to do is to plant it in the ground to about there even slightly lower and then mulch it up to about here but no higher so just i'm just going to pop all these in and about there so this is the soil level and then just backfill gently a couple of these spindly shoots are going to probably get knocked down a bit but they'll all come back all reshoot so just break the soil up a little bit and just firm them in <coughs> Firm them in and then when I've finished I'll rake this wood chip back over so we're about where the dark stem starts so that's about the sort of level that they were when they were planted before and then I'm gonna just mulch just slightly deeper about another inch but that's that's just a mulch which will break down over time so that's about the sort of depth you want to plant them no deeper
So now I'm just going to malt over them. Uh, the malt I'm using is some fairly well rotten wood chip, but it's um, it's sort of half and half conifer um, chip, which can be a, a slightly acidic. And raspberries like slightly acidic ground, so this might help them a little bit. So that's what I'm going to put on them now. So that's it, they're in now and mulched. I've just got, got to give them a bit of a water to settle the soil in around the roots. There's just one thing that remains and that is to snip them off because these are autumn fruiting raspberries. Basically, as soon as they finish fruiting uh, in autumn, late autumn, you cut them down pretty much to ground level, a couple of inches above the ground, something like that. So I'm just gonna snip all these now to about two inches above the ground. So that's it, they're all in, mulched, mulched and cut down, and hopefully in the spring, I'll have a bit, bit more success this year, or next year, and uh, we'll have some nice yellow raspberries, which I've never tried before. Just something different, really, that the kids love raspberries. So I thought it'd just, um, just sort of add to that bit of variety to have a different color. Might be nice to make some yellow raspberry jam as well. So we'll just see how they go next year, but, if you're enjoying the videos guys please remember to like and subscribe and um, we'll see you next time take it easy